This is Joe Biden. During the 2020 campaign, Biden insisted that he didn't know anything about his son Hunter Biden's business dealings. Here's Biden arguing with Peter Ducey from Fox News. Mr. Vice President, how many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. Everybody looked at this and everybody's looked at it and said there's nothing there. Ask the right question. Mr. Biden, okay, Mr. Biden. But it turns out he was being asked the right questions because Gary Shapley Jr., a top criminal investigator at the IRS who was managing the case against Hunter Biden, recently revealed evidence to the House Ways and Means Committee, evidence that would directly contradict Joe Biden's denials. That evidence includes newly revealed WhatsApp text exchanges between Hunter Biden to Kevin Zhao, an executive at CEFC China Energy. These were retrieved by the FBI from Hunter Biden's iCloud account. On July 30th, 2017, Hunter texted the following. I am sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Notice that Hunter wrote that he was with his father and that we would like to understand. Was Hunter actually sitting next to his dad? Well, that's unclear. Using your former vice president father to strong arm a Chinese energy company <laughs> seems totally legit. Hunter went on to text, tell the director that I would like to resolve this now before it gets out of hand. And now means tonight. And Z, if I get a call or text from anyone involved in this other than you, Zhang, or the chairman, I will make certain that between the man sitting next to me and every person he knows, and my ability to forever hold a grudge that you will regret not following my direction. So Hunter is threatening them by saying that if you don't do what I say, me and my dad will come to your house and kick your ass. After Zhao said he would call him back, Hunter replied, okay, my friend, I am sitting here waiting for the call with my father. I sure hope whatever it is you were doing is very, very important. Of course, nothing is more important than a Biden. And because this was about foreign money and potential income that was hidden from the tax man, Shapley and his team wanted to investigate all of the content found in all of Hunter's messages. In his opening statement, Mr. Shapley claims that in August 2020, we got the results back from an iCloud search warrant. The messages included material we clearly needed to follow up on. Nevertheless, prosecutors denied investigators' requests to develop a strategy to look into the messages and denied investigators' suggestion to obtain location information to see where the texts were sent from. During the interview portion, Majority Counsel for the Ways and Means Committee asked Mr. Shapley the following, and the reason you wanted to look into this is because there could have been a lot of money coming in from CEFC that was untaxed, correct? Shapley said, yeah, we were talking about a lot of things there. There's FARA in play, and the FBI is considering a lot of national security type issues here. And we were precluded from doing anything. And that location data would be helpful because it could confirm slash prove that Hunter Biden was in fact in the same vicinity as his father Joe Biden when Hunter sent his texts. But thanks to prosecutors denying their request, I guess we'll never know. Oh wait, the Washington Free Beacon found photos of Hunter Biden in Joe Biden's Corvette Stingray. And the metadata from those images show that they were taken in close proximity to Joe Biden's Wilmington, Delaware home on July 30th, 2017. Which, yes, is the same day that he sent the text to the CEFC executive. And the mere existence of these texts proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that then-Democrat presidential nominee Joe Biden was lying through his fake-ass teeth. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about, China. Womp womp. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll be releasing an in-depth video on the IRS whistleblower's testimony very soon because this whole text thing, it's just the tip of the iceberg. So make sure that you're following me on Twitter at Don't Walk Run. Be sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. And as always, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time. Well, if there is a next time.